From the cognitive stage, athletes progress to the associative stage. At this stage, athletes are expected to move on from understanding a skill to actually performing it. When they reach the associative stage, I think it's really important that the athlete is starting to understand where they're supposed to be in relation to the body. So I'm not having to correct them. Just try and make sure when you're doing this that as we go into the spin, the arms stay out to the side. I would expect the skater to be able to execute the spin with a good understanding of where they're supposed to be spin a little bit faster, but also the position looks a little bit stronger. With the spin, I think the main thing is to focus on, again, is centre, um, centering the spin and having your weight in completely the right place. So basically, if you have different sort of arm positions um, or leg positions, it shouldn't affect what happens with your skating leg and it should just sort of improve the spin. So as long as the basics is there, I think that's the important thing to get. As athletes progress through the stages of learning, their spin is performed with greater flexibility and balance, as well as being faster and smoother. As they continue to improve, coaches will gradually add variations to the spin. The variations uh, at the associative stage would be we go from a moving position into the spin on the forward outside edge so if he performed a spin and it wasn't so great then go back to the spin have a look at the tracing on the ice know how it should look and then try and recreate that as he's going into doing the next spin I'm gonna come round I'm gonna go do the three turn arms come in finishing position on the way out, OK? okay. Yep. So, it's still really good at the associative level to demonstrate uh, what I'm, I'm trying to get them to achieve. So visually, again, they can see uh, what it is that I'm asking for them to do. But I mean, I, I, I probably wouldn't do as many demonstrations. I would let them get on with the, the spin and, and really try and, you know, get the feeling. Right with Andrew, I would try and use a little bit more um, descriptive language trying to get him to understand where his body is. In between the top of your boot and your knee, so we're in this position here, try not to have a bit of a gap because then sometimes you may have a tendency to drop back. We're still moving forwards with all three stages verbally as well as, you know, showing them visually. And out. Good, much better. Constant feedback is always good. Um, so you tend to get feedback on everything you do in the lesson as well as sort of like things when you come back to the lesson, what maybe you've approved through practice from last time um, and things to sort of practice on so to give you some focus before your next lesson. <laughs>